Hey guys, it is your girl Sir Elizabeth and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Today guys, I'm here with this cute sledge of some faux locks. Look at this. Look at this. Individual and crochet. So if you guys want to see how I installed this, y'all just keep watching. <laughs> All right guys, so I'm starting with some individual braids at the base and the back of my head. And I actually finished it with just some regular old braids in the middle of my head. Excuse me, it's not perfect, I know. <laughs> but basically it just makes it easier for installing the hair and a little bit quicker in the process of just doing all individuals together and do some braids in the front of my head also. So the hair was sent to me by Janet Collection, their Nalatress brand, their butterfly locks, 24 inch in the color OET1B27. I am excited because y'all, to make it a little bit easier for some locks, I'm all about that. I'll also be wrapping the hair in Afri Naturals Water Wave Collection and the color 1B27, just to make sure everything is kind of seamless with the hair also. Now, before we get to the front of my head, I'm going to show y'all how I crochet these locks on my head. Let me tell y'all about these loops. These loops are the most difficult loops I have ever worked with, y'all. Come on, Janet Collection. Y'all got to get that together. But either way, you're pretty much just going to crochet your hair just like a normal crochet by pulling that loop through and pulling the base of that uh, lock through that loop. But it is the most difficult thing of getting this loop open. Come on, Janet Collection. I love y'all, but this loop, y'all got to work on that, y'all. All right, guys. So I figured I'd just go ahead and explain this process real quick instead of doing a voiceover because I feel like I might mess up with the voiceover. So <laughs> I did one knotless lock so far and I want to show y'all how I did it. Shout out to the videos I did see. I'll put her links and everything below of how I found this of doing the knotless way. And honestly, it is the easiest way to crochet these locks right here. So let me just show y'all how I did the knotless method on this. First, I'm going to open this loop up a little bit more just because we know these locks and these loops are really, really shitty. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Janet Collection. Your loops are shitty. We need to open these locks a little bit more with these loops. Typically, when you do a crochet, people crochet through the base of their braid. And that's where that big old knot and it looks all bulky at the top. And we don't want that. We kind of want to look very seamless how this one is right here. So <laughs> what you're going to do is you're going to take your hook. And instead of crocheting to the base up here, you're going to crochet maybe through like a piece of the braid. One or two pieces down. I really can't see it for real, you know. <laughs> Put your little crochet hoop through that braid like that. You're going to take your lock, pull it on through that piece of braid. And while that piece is like there, just like this, you're going to open that lock again. Still have that crochet uh, hook right through that lock. Take your braid, just bring it up onto that um, crochet hook and pull it right through that loop. Now, as you pull that loop through, boom, we are in here like swimwear. This lock is not going anywhere, y'all. So it basically takes out that big old knot that's at the top. After that, pretty much going to take your piece of hair. I'm using the water wave here again. Go ahead and crochet through the same piece, but since my braid, as you can see, is a little bit further down with this lock, I'm just gonna go ahead and just crochet it closer to the top. Uh oh, let me get through my hair. <laughs> go ahead and just take a piece, pull half of it through, or hold everything together, and I'm just gonna begin by wrapping the base of my braid around three times, and then just wrap on down. I put in my thumb a little bit over just to give a little dimension of pulling out some of those loops, but literally just wrapping down guys, wrapping down this lock just like this to make sure that we cover the rest of my hair. Go ahead and palm roll that, palm roll it down a little bit and boom, look at that. Look guys, look at that. You cannot beat that. You know what? I have this method is amazing. All right, 
go ahead and cut the music back on. Let's keep rocking. And let me just go ahead and show y'all how to do it without me talking because yeah, that was just horrible. <laughs> much the end result of these beautiful crochet knotless individual basically a whole smorgasbord of a locks installation okay <laughs> look at this look how beautiful this is look i had to slay my little edges for y'all too look i'm coming with some new content this year i'm coming with slayed edges this year okay because y'all know i don't really slay my edges for real i didn't really know how to slay my edges but I think I figured it out now. Few things about the hair. Now, right off bat, we all know, everybody knows, everybody has been talking about these knots. Look at this, these knots. These knots are probably the little bitty devils of hell of trying to put in crochet because this shit was hard as hell trying to open these knots and trying to crochet it on your hair. I honestly recommend just doing the knotless method because with the individuals, you literally just crochet a piece of that hair from the beginning of the video and loop your braid right through there. Compared to literally opening this whole knot and stuffing the bottom thick end into this knot, it's really difficult. So it makes it for a little bit longer of an installation to put in your hair. Honestly, I just prefer doing it individual wise. Another con I will say with these locks, pretty much when you install it via the crochet method instead of the individuals, when you pull this loop through, if you're not careful, this whole dread can come apart just like that. I mean, it can, it can stretch and it can look a hot mess and you probably need to like basically put it back together. Cause as you can see, look, that's what happens when you're trying to put that loop through that knot and then trying to straighten it back out. So pretty much you got to open this loop big as hell just to make sure nothing like that happens when you try to put it back through your head, okay? <laughs> <laughs> just to summarize how I did the hair, I put two rows of individual braids in the back of my head so that way I can put it up in ponytails if I need to. But I also put some rows of individuals in the front and just braided the middle of my head as well. With the individuals, I just made sure that I wrapped a piece of water wave hair. You can pretty much use spring hair or water wave hair. So out of the eight packs of hair that Jana Collection sent me, I pretty much used all eight packs of hair. Mine is just so about three or four locks pretty much. So that's about 70 something locks in my hair with individuals and crochet all put together. And finally, once again, for all y'all who don't know me, I am 6'2", so these locks pretty much are coming down past my boobs. These are 24 inch locks. So on me, they fall right past my boobs. So yeah, that's it guys. I'm pretty much feeling this hair. I know it's going to get better over time. I am loving this knotless method. I'll definitely make sure to link everything below, especially of who I got this knotless method from, just because we got to give where credit is due, okay? Don't forget to like this channel, subscribe to my channel guys for any updates and all of that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.